Our Ensemble Laboratory has been meeting over the last uh, six months um, in London and Brighton to develop um, skills together, uh, ways of working and most importantly start exploring new ideas for our new production. And this is a little bit of what we've been up to. She goes out repeatedly onto the dwindling lake as its edges become whiter and whiter. As her things become broken, she obsessively tears them. Everything else falls down around her, and the village is nothing. What was the purpose of setting up the Ensemble Laboratory and what have you learned? Um, well, it was setting up as a response to um, uh, this, the work that we've been doing as a company up to this point and realising more and more that um, we needed a, um, a shared history of work with the actors that we were working with, particularly because we're so interested in combining kind of rigorous text work and working on uh, script and playwriting, but also working in a way which is, is based in the dynamic between the performers, which is more about the body and a visual and physical way of, of telling stories as a group. And more and more we thought back to the productions we've done in the past and thought, well, the best work we've done has always been with a group. We've, we've had a history or a period of time just training and exploring things together without the pressure to have a final piece of performance at the end of it. Um, and so we found that these last few weeks have really affirmed that, that belief. I loved it, yeah, it really put me in touch with my body, I think. Um, when I've done sort of movement stuff before, it's been mainly about sort of musculature, and this was very much about the skeleton. Um, so it made me think about my body in a very different way, in a, <laughs> perhaps it's a cliche, but in a deeper way, because you're thinking about the skeleton, which is the very basis of it, and then, of course, on top of that come the muscles. What I find most challenging and most interesting is that the work sometimes veers off in the direction of textual analysis or veers off in the direction of physical movement and developing a physical language. But the, the challenge is then how you bring those together and, um, and really, really fuse them in a way that means that the, both of the, all that development moves at the same pace. Love, little girl, living a perfect existence. She moves to a place where she is distraught with a sense of loss. Loss of someone else. Loss of a life she thought she understood. Loss in a deep and visceral way. What's been the most fun thing in the last five or six weeks? Generally or particularly? Generally. Generally, uh, it's just been seeing everyone um, at the end of the session just kind of just a real buzz in the room. Like it's, been, it's just been really fun to see people laughing and falling over and, and trying things that they hadn't thought they should really try. And, and then realising that um, actually it's fine to, to fail and muck up and fall over and, and, and you know, enjoy, enjoy the, the the fact that you can just play play at this as opposed to feel you have to, to end up somewhere. The, the thing that the town feared most was rest. <laughs> One day, when out 
went out fishing. And swirling. Full of the lack of air and sky. experience is petrifying I think but I mean um, I think it's great that um, people turn up to these petrifying times <laughs> even though what you get out of it is absolutely amazing.